Clint and Tory are guilty and tried to invalidate the test with two different countermeasures. I just screw the retained army. But Carrie was innocent. So did Dr. Martin Pickett. Carrie, you were found not to be involved in the theft. Your test was truthful and honest. Unfortunately, the men's test didn't go as well. They both failed clearly. For all <laughs> <laughs> the numbers don't lie. Both our crims scored a probability of guilt greater than 99%. Dr. Martin had no problem spotting Tory's attempt to mask his responses with pain. As for Grant, in your particular case, it was your, uh, your skin glands were the most telling. You just couldn't suppress it. There's no way you could do that. You didn't have a chance. I'm not cut out for crime, what can I say? Quite simply, the boys didn't have a chance. Modern polygraphs, when used by experienced polygraphers, are very effective. The trick questions. During your entire life, did you ever break the law? The intimidating atmosphere and myriad of sensors mean they are very, very difficult to beat. Yes. Which means it's time for the boys to make like an 80s disco diva and hit the car wash. I didn't bring my bikini. Did you bring yours? <laughs> it's totally ridiculous. And the producer's up. Thank you so much for beating the polygraph machine. We both failed. At least all the cars are clean. <laughs> That's funny. You know what, though? There is one other system of lie detecting that I think we need to test. Um, they actually use brain mapping to tell whether or not you're lying. And they say it's 90% accurate. Yeah, actually, I've heard of that. They use an fMRI, and they can actually see the part of your brain that's used for lying. So this is less about myth-busting, more about the science of lying. And to uncover the science of lying, they have to do some flying. The Medical University of South Carolina is at the cutting edge of this new lie detection technology. Anybody know where the hell we're going? Whereas Grant and Tory are at the cutting edge of getting lost. We are looking for the Medical University of South Carolina. Finally inside, Carrie gets to meet expert Dr. Frank Cozell. So the fMRI is new technology for a lie detector. Correct, Harry. We've been working on this for a while. We're looking at using functional MRI to measure in the brain when people are lying. So how does it work? We think that when people are lying, their brains are working harder. And so we can measure the differences in blood flow and tell when people are lying versus telling the truth. So the theory is that when you lie, your brain works harder. And it's this increase in blood flow that's detected in the fMRI. And to test the theory, the guys will once again commit a crime. According to Adam, in order for this test to have the proper motivation that it needs, there's going to be a reward and a punishment. If you're able to successfully eat the test, you get the reward of a thousand dollars. Are you kidding me? What? That's pretty good. However, if you're not able to successfully eat the test, you get to take a bus back to San Francisco. Oh. That sucks. A bus. That sucks. Have you ever ridden the bus long distances? Are you serious? This is not funny anymore. In the course of Mythbusters, Tori has been dragged along the ground by a horse <laughs> and face planted on a bike. <laughs> but could this be the myth that breaks Tori's back? I don't want to take this test. <laughs> Can I opt to not take the test? Adam and Jamie are in a spin testing claims that a Civil War era steam machine gun was a lethal weapon. That was it! With range and rapid fire capability. But so far, the only target in danger is the steel safety collar. I don't know what the heck we're going to do about that. Their solution? More ammo. Want to try that one? <laughs> Let's try that one. So the guys are hoping the timing issue resolves itself under the weight of multiple rounds. Their victims are these foam board figures. Uh, I've placed them about 20 feet from the barrel of our steam machine gun. And I want to test two things. One, I want to add some more bullets and test and see how repeatable the gun is. The brrr, that's what I'm looking for. And if we get that, I'd like to see 
what kind of spread I get. For this test, the guys will attempt to fire five bullets in quick succession. Ready when you are. And if successful, will it match the mythical reports of 400 rounds per minute? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> We hit the figures! No wonder Adam's happy. They hit their target. And the use of multiple rounds seems to have solved that timing problem. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? What? That is a machine gun. I, I would say that sounds a lot like a machine gun to me. Yep, with the five rounds leaving the gun in approximately one second, they're close enough to the mythical specs to get a pass mark. Next, Adam and Jamie want to know if those rapid-fire rounds can kill. And for that, they'll need a ye olde control. I just want to do a comparison shot with a black powder rifle and there's a ballistic gel guy. And then fire our steam machine gun and see how the two compare. You don't have any ye olde earmuffs? These are. I got the replica jacket, the replica rifle, the replica hat, and ye olde replica earmuffs. Sacrificing authenticity for safety, Adam sets his sights on the ballistics material bust. In three, two, one. He didn't stand a chance. I think he's dead. They went right through him and through the board. There's no doubt about it. The period accurate black powder rifle packs a deadly punch. So that's what the guys are expecting from their machine gun. Try three balls this time. Bang, bang, and bang. All right, lethality test in three, two, one. <laughs> that's great. Bang, bang, and bang was exactly what the ballistic bus got. But was it, as per the myth, lethal? It doesn't look like it made it all the way through. No, no, no. I can see them right here. They're just two of inches in. I got to say, I think that's a kill, man. It's not quite all the way through the man in the plywood, but it's definitely under the skin. I agree. Yep, and a look at the high speed gives Adam and Jamie a visual confirmation that at point blank range, staring down the spinning barrel of this gun is fatal. Yes! Mm, isn't that awesome? So far, so good for the myth. It appears to be lethal and can fire multiple rounds at a rapid rate. That is a machine gun. But to be sure, we need a more realistic flesh and bone target. Here's your chance to win the latest HD heavy cam from Sony. Just log on to discoverhdmemories.com for more details. Sony. Prepare for a Olympic extravaganza. Worth it.